In this tutorial, I'm going to go through two common settings that you might want to change on your calculator, particularly if it's the first time you've ever used the calculator or if you've just reset it. For more tutorials on this calculator, visit parkermaths.com forward slash CG50. Let's first take a look at how to switch the calculator between degrees and radians mode. First of all, I'm going to go into run matrix mode, which is number one although you can do this in other modes as well. Notice at the top of the screen, it tells me what mode my calculator is in. It's currently in radians. I'm going to press shift and then menu to enter setup. I'm then going to use the directional arrow to cycle down until I get to angle. I'm then going to change from radians to degrees by pressing F1. Finally, I just press exit to get out of the menu. Next up, we'll take a look at how to change the display mode. So the display mode determines how small and large numbers are displayed on your calculator screen. For example, if we do one divided by a thousand and you get the answer one times 10 to the negative three, that means your calculator is in mode norm one and small and large numbers are being displayed in standard form. However, if you do one divided by a thousand on your calculator and get the answer 0.001, that's how your calculator will display values if it's in the mode norm two. And the default setting once you've reset your calculator is norm one. Let's take a look at how we can switch the display mode. This calculator is currently in norm one mode. So if we do one divided by a thousand, we should get an answer in standard form. To change to norm two, we press shift and then menu. Then we scroll down until we reach display. We change norm one to norm two by pressing F3. We can then press exit. And if we now do one divided by 1000, you'll see we get 0 0.001. 